Hey there, and welcome to the Ultraman Connection Collectible Navi. Seismic Toys is back with g -Ross. And this is the comic book version as he appears in the Marvel Comics The Trials of Ultraman. So we're going to check out this figure and see how he compares to the Marvel comic books. We have a box from Seismic Toys and inside is a very unique figure. g -Ross is one of Ultraman's earliest foes originating from the very first series in 1966. Here we have the second variant of Jiras called the Comics version. This new colorway is based on the character's design in the Trials of Ultraman from the Marvel Comics. Let's take a look at this beautiful header card art by Bill Kotor. Looks like we got number 7 out of 150. This Jiras figure is 9 inches tall and is sculpted by Michael Lambert. Now uh, each figure will come with a limited edition holographic g trading card which has become a seismic tradition. g is available now to order and is 150 US dollars plus shipping and can be purchased directly on the Seismic Toys website. As we can see, Seismic's signature translucent effect and metallic paints are on vivid display in this new figure, playing homage to the classic Sofubi soft vinyl figures from the past. This figure of Jiras is limited to only 150 pieces worldwide. So yeah, it's a very small number. So if you're a fan of um, Jiras or Ultraman, you definitely want to get this. And I also urge all the Godzilla fans out there, because um, uh, as we'll uh, dive into a little bit of history of Jiras uh, later on in this video, um, this is a very cool piece to add to the collection. So in the Marvel comics, Jiras appears as a robotic kaiju built by Professor Nikaido to feed conspiracy theories uh, of the USP to allow the world governments to impose greater control on the citizens and holds a rally in Iceland to showcase the artificial monster and rally support. So we just saw the bottom of the foot, we have the Subaraya Productions and the uh, Seismic Toys uh, logos and here are the uh, different points of articulation, the tail, arms and legs move. Head does not, but um, I think that's fine. Uh, what's really neat is the translucent material used. Um, when we use some light behind it, uh, you can definitely see it glow. Now let's turn off the lights and now look at this, isn't this neat? I really like this. Uh, if, it, if you have like a little light behind it, uh, or maybe even like a, a stand underneath him, I think he would look really cool. So I like this um, translucentness, and just having a little bit of light on him really gives uh, the character a nice glowing effect. So really cool, and this is the um, you know they had a Savenger figure. Uh, which we reviewed earlier on the Ultraman Connection uh, Collectible Navi. Um, so check that out if you are a Savenger fan. And now let's do some figure comparisons. This is the 6-inch movie Monster Series Shin Ultraman. And uh, here's an Ultra Kaiju figure, which is 4 inches tall. Now here's a classic um, Sofubi figure um, of g -Ross. And here's a CCP Ultraman uh, C-Type. Okay, let's bring out a CCP GRS. So this was released earlier uh, this year. So we can see the differences. And here's a CCP Tyrant. So get an idea of the size difference. So those are 30 centimeters or 12 inches tall. And here's a CCP Ultraman, uh, the next. Here comes the X plus 25 centimeter or 8 inches tall, the Daikaiju series GRS. So for the original Jiras, um, he is a monster created by Professor Nikaido and was being raised in Lake Kitayama. The design of Jiras comes from a redesigned Godzilla suit by taking the head of the 1965 suit and placing it on the 1964 suit body, adding a frill around his neck and some yellow paint. The reason behind Jiras' creation was because at the time of Ultraman's production, there was a very short schedule and low budget. So A.G. Subaraya negotiated with Toho Co. Ltd. to have the Godzilla suit on loan. The suit actor who played Jiras was Haruo Nakajima, who played the original Godzilla from 1954 to 1972. As a huge Godzilla fan, it's a great honor to see Jiras be part of the Ultraman legacy. 
Seismic Toys has done it again. Another awesome Sofubi figure of the monster Jiras. And uh, these are super limited, so if you're a fan of like the Sofubi style uh, type of figures, um, you don't want to miss this one because they're uh, really awesome materials. They're translucent, and uh, there's a few points of articulation that's really neat. Um, and yeah, he matches um, the uh, Marvel comic books, the Trial of Ultraman uh, colorway very, very nicely. Um, and um, similar colors to what he appeared in the 1966 version of the TV show. So, um, you know, the yellows and greens. So, yeah, very nice figure. Don't want to miss out um, because very, very cool. And uh, yeah, there'll be more seismic news to come, so stay tuned on Ultraman Connection.